Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Finally, Google released Android 13 Beta 4 and I have it here installed on my Pixel 6 Pro to show you everything new. But before starting, let me remind you to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about my upcoming videos. And now let's jump in. So let's start with the build number as usual. And here on the 6 Pro, it's TPB4.220624.005. Just to set your expectations, this build does not include tons of new features and that's why I took longer than expected trying to find out any new change to make the video more interesting. And I assure you, the changes I'm gonna show you now, you won't find in any other video, so let's find out what's new. The first change I have is related to the Bluetooth quick settings type. Now when you connect any device, you will be able to see the device type. So as an example, here I connected my LG Bluetooth speaker and it says here the word audio. But if we're gonna compare this to Android 13 Beta 3, the previous one, I connected the same Bluetooth speaker, but all I get here is the on and off status instead of getting the device type like Android 13 Beta 4. The second change is under settings, then battery, then battery usage, and when you scroll all the way down to system usage, and then expand, you will see now the GPU battery usage, and this is something new to Android 13 Beta 4. I'm not sure how this item gets calculated, so hopefully Google will provide us with more information in the future. And I also noticed the mobile network usage is getting lower after using Beta 4. On Beta 3, I was getting between 12 to 15%, but after half a day on Beta 4, now I'm getting 9, and I think it will get even lower. Also keep in mind that this improvement is only specific to the Pixel 6 models, because older models are getting between 2 to 1% mobile network usage already, but I think only the Pixel 6 models are impacted, and finally Google started to address the problem. There is one more change under settings, and then notifications, and then wireless emergency alerts, you will see some differences here. So I'm gonna compare it with Android 13 Beta 3 on the right. And as you see here, the allow alerts are not showing in Beta 4 and also the items are different. Here you have warning alerts, public safety and test alerts. And instead of having amber, severe and extreme, and also at the bottom, we no longer have the vibration switch. And for the app shortcuts, we got one minor visual tweak. When you pin any shortcut from Google Chrome to your home screen like this one, for example, you will see an outlined icon for Google Chrome instead of the original one. So if you take a look here side by side on Beta 3, you will see the icon has a fill color, but now in Beta 4, it doesn't. Next, the widgets. And now with Android 13 Beta 4, you can make your widgets much smaller compared to the previous versions of Android. And this is something I talked about in Beta 2, but Google removed this feature in Beta 3 and now it's back again with Beta 4. So I have some examples for you. The YouTube Music widget, as you see, it's much smaller compared to the smallest size on Beta 3 and the same for Keep Notes and the battery widget. Also the full size calendar widget, this is the smallest one we used to have, but now I can make it much smaller and I do like this design. I can make it even smaller, but as you see, it will look weird. So this is the best one you can get. Next, the predictive back gesture. This is one of the features I talked about in Android 13 Beta 3, and it was working only with Keep Notes, but after installing Beta 4, it's completely gone and it's no longer working even if I have the feature activated under developer settings. And now it's time for today's sponsor. If you are interested to purchase original Windows 10 and Office keys, head over to cdkeyoffer.com using the links in the description below, then apply my special promo code ID20 to get extra 25% discount. Windows 10 OEM key will cost you $16.23, which is very affordable. To complete your purchase, choose your preferred payment method, input the details, and once the payment is done, you will be redirected to the orders screen. To view your code, click on the view keys slash codes button, then click on get the key. To activate your Windows 10 OEM key, copy the code from the website, head over to your Windows settings, then system, scroll all the way down and click on about, then product key and the activation, and finally click on a change. Paste the code in the text field and click on next, then activate, and now your original Windows key got activated. For more offers, please check the links in the description below. And now let's get back to the review. Now let me show you some random new features that I've never mentioned before. And I'm not sure exactly when they got released, but they are worth mentioning. The first one is the ability to copy the build number by tapping and hold on it like this. The second one, if you have the calculator app open and then you lock the device like this, 
then you tap the screen, the calculator app will show up even though your phone is still locked. And that will make your phone to act as a physical calculator. The third one is the ability to undo delete alarms. So for example, I'm gonna delete this alarm and then wait for a few seconds. I will get this notification to undo my action. And lastly, Google Assistant on Android 13 is always using dark theme regardless of your system settings. So here on the 6 Pro, I don't have the dark theme activated and I'm still getting a dark theme for Google Assistant. I tried to restart the phone. I also tried to toggle the feature on or off, but with no joy. And the same thing applies to my Pixel 4a and the Pixel 5 and all devices are running Android 13. So please let me know in the comments if you are impacted by the same thing. Now let me walk you through the bug fixes in Android 13 Beta 4. And the first one is related to the Bluetooth connectivity. This one is targeted to all devices. So if you are facing any Bluetooth connectivity issues on Android 13, this one should be fixed with Beta 4. There is also a fix for the Google camera crashes on the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro models. Another fix for the system update page. Previously, it was showing the wrong Android version, which is Android 12. But after beta 4, it should show you the correct version, which is Android 13. And the last one is fixed for an issue on the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro devices when it comes to the now playing feature. Previously, it got stuck on the downloading song database, but now this issue should be fixed. Now let's talk about the general performance of beta 4. I've been using the device throughout the day and I didn't face any lag in the animation or any bug that didn't allow me to use the device. I didn't even uh, need to restart the device and the fingerprint works pretty well. And if we're going to compare the animations to beta 3, they are much more refined and more solid now on beta 4. So if you are willing to install it on your daily driver, that's okay. I don't think you will face any issues. But keep in mind, I'm only talking now about the Pixel 6 Pro. I didn't install this build on older models. So expect to get a different experience if you have another device. And when it comes to the Geekbench scores, they are within the average. I'm getting here 20, between 27 to 2800 for the multi-core score. But right after installing the build, I was getting low numbers. As you see here, 2487. But previously on beta 3, I was getting the same average. Even if we're going to get back to the stable version, I was getting the same average between 27 and 2800. So there is nothing abnormal here. And for the battery performance, I didn't have enough time to test it for a few days. But I'm going to talk about today. I took my phone off the charger maybe around 7 or 8 a.m. as shown here. And I've been using the phone, as you see, for 11 hours or maybe slightly longer. And I still have 19% in the battery. My usage was mainly WhatsApping and other stuff like the camera for 16 minutes and so on and so forth. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So I think the camera performance is with an average as well. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes I wanted to show you in Android 13 Beta 4. In case I missed anything, please let me know in the comments below to include in my future videos. But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.